What's up guys? Welcome back. So today I want to do a quick video about the differences between the 2019 Hobie Outback and the brand new 2020 Hobie Outback. We're going to talk about specs. We're going to talk about differences and I'll let you guys, I'll be honest with you guys and let you guys know if it's worth upgrading from a 2019. If you already have a 2019 up to a 2020. All right, as you guys know, Hobie Outback just came out with their 2020 model. And honestly, there's not much difference between this model and the 2019 Hobie Outback. Uh, there are a couple main differences, um, which I will cover in just a sec. And that's one of the reasons I did upgrade to the 2020 Outback. But let's talk about specs real quick. Real quick. Let me tell you the specs on the 2019 Outback versus the 2020 Outback. And honestly, there's no versus because it's exactly the same. Um, the length, it's 12 feet, nine inches. 12 feet 9 inches width is 34 inches and very wide from from end to end 34 inches same with the 2020 model 34 inches weight capacity is 425 pounds same thing with the 2020 outback 425 pounds fully rigged this whole kayak with the mirage drive and the seat weighs 103 pounds which is really not that bad for a kayak to be honest with you and guess what the 2020 outback is also 103 pounds fully weighted with the with the drive and the seat attached prices now there is a little bit of a difference brand new 2019 outback is 2949 2949 dollars whereas the 2020 outback it's $2,999. So you're looking at a $50 difference. All right, man. So you're probably asking, so what, then why did you upgrade the 2020 Outback from the 2019 Outback? What's the difference, right? Well, there are two main differences. And the first difference is the biggest reason why I upgraded to the 2020 model. And let me show you what that is. This right here is the famous Hobie Mirage Drive 180 that makes Hobie who they are, such a versatile drive. You're able to go really skinny in the water by butterflying like this. It hugs the hole so it doesn't get caught. And they even went further now for 2020. They included kick-up fins with this new Mirage Drive. Now what is kick-up fins? So say you're fishing really shallow waters and you run into some oyster or to a tree stump if you're fishing fresh water or sand flats, grass flats, whatever. When you hit it, this is what happens. You see that guys? One more time. That's what happens. Kick up fins is the new thing on this Mirage Drive for the 2020 model. And hence that is one of the main reasons why the 2020 model is a little bit more expensive. $50 more expensive to be exact. And for now on, Hobie is going to include this kick-up fin drive, Mirage 180 drive on all Hobie Outbacks. So it's a new thing that they're doing. And I honestly think it's a great engineering feat to have this option right here to kick up and not damage your fins when you're in shallow water, when you're going full speed. I fish a lot, guys. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a saltwater fishing YouTuber, okay? I go out at least twice a week to film. So therefore I put a lot of use to my kayaks. So when I saw that Hobie came out with their kick up fin technology for their 2020 model, I thought that was a no brainer because number one, I'm always running to shallow water wherever I go in the marsh system on the Texas upper coast. So therefore it made sense for me to upgrade to the 2020 model with a kick up fin technology because of how much I fish and the type of fishing I do. All right, man, so does that make the 2019 Hobie Outback inferior and obsolete, outdated? Heck no, it does not. Just because I updated a 2020 model with a kick-up fin technology doesn't make this an outdated model. By no way, no means, no way, period. This is an awesome freaking kayak. And honestly, I'm very, very happy to have this in my fleet. Now, if this was my only kayak, I'd be happy with that too because it does the job. You, if you see me on my channel, you see me fish the marsh plenty of times with this Hobie out back here and I've catch a lot, a lot of fish in those shallow waters and it's worked out so far 
so good for me without any issues. All right, man, so what is the real reason why you upgraded to the 2020 model? Once again, as I stated earlier, I fish a lot, okay? In my opinion, if you're gonna go out around two times a week, six to eight times a month, upgrading to the 2020 uh, Hobie Outback or even buying the 2020 Hobie Outback, it's, it's a no-brainer to me, having the kick-up fin technology. Um, that's just a nice, convenient thing to have for the type of fishing I like to do. Now, if I only fish maybe twice, three, maybe four times a month at, ma at max, I would have not upgraded to the 2020 Outback. I would have been perfectly happy with the 2019 Hobie Outback. So the reason why I'm making this video and informing you guys is because don't be haste and go out and buy the 2020 Outback. The 2019 Hobie Outback, there's a lot of great deals on that Hobie Outback. And honestly, as I said before, if I, don't, if I didn't fish more than four times a month, I would have just been content with the 2019 Hobie Outback. And there's a lot of guys on Craigslist, on Facebook, marketplace um, on let go that's selling their 2019 hobie outback for dirt cheap so why would you spend three thousand dollars on the new 2020 hobie outback when you can get the 2019 hobie outback for almost a thousand dollars probably around a thousand dollars less after taxes are figured into it all right nick didn't you just tell us there are two big upgrades to the 2020 model versus 2019 hobie outback but you only showed us one, the kick up fin technology. What's the other one? That's a good question. The other one is not so much of a major upgrade, but it's something that Hobie did improve on and it's the seat itself. They said it is wider versus the 2019 Hobie Outback. Now they didn't give us specs on how much wider, but you know what? I brought my ghetto ruler. We're gonna measure this versus that and see how much wider this is and to truly tell if this is a big upgrade versus the 2019 model. Okay, 12 inches right there, from there to there, 20 and a half inches wide. All right, let's see how wide this is. On the 2020 model, 12 inches right there. Okay, man, that is really strange. Okay, on this new 2020 model, my seat is actually more narrower versus the 2019 that's odd you're looking at 20 inches width versus 20 and a half inch on the 2019 so uh, <laughs> i don't know what to tell you man you guys saw it for your own with your own eyes man i don't know whether my seed is maybe a lemon <laughs> i'm not sure but the 2019 my 2019 seat is a little bit wider half an inch wider versus the new 2020 so i don't know what to tell you man that was supposed to be one of the big big selling points for the 2020 model the kick up fin technology as well as with wider seats all right ladies and gents that's pretty much going to be it between the differences between the 2020 outback and the 2019. i did have one guy tell me that he heard from hobie i don't know if this is 100 true but he heard from hobie on the 2020 model they reinforced the seat area uh, to make it more rigid, but I don't know if that's 100% sure, true. I couldn't find that on the website, but as you guys saw, the wider seat supposedly that the 2020 model has is not so versus the 2019. I don't know whether perhaps maybe me using the 2019 Hobie Outback for a few months has made the seat wider. I don't think that could be the case, but I don't know, who knows? And this being a new seat itself is not stretched out. I, I have no idea. But anyways, the big deal is the kick up fins. That's the one reason why I wanted to upgrade to the 2020 model. And what's so crazy is that if Hobie, if Hobie offered this Mirage Drive with a kick up fin by itself, you can purchase this by itself. I would have not upgraded to this 2020 model, to be frank. I would have just kept my 2019 and just bought this drive because it's an easy, it drops right in. There's no, it, it fits like a glove, man. It's, it's a Mirage Drive 180. So take that for what it's worth. Hopefully, maybe in the future, Hobie will start selling. I'm pretty sure they will sell the Mirage Drive with a kick-up fin as a separate accessory, but I just couldn't wait because as you guys know, I'm a YouTube fishing channel and I like to upgrade with the newest things. 
and um, I'm always fishing so to me that's an investment worth uh, putting into it so basically to recap guys if you don't fish as much as I do and you fish maybe around four times a month or even less look at the 2019 model man you can find such great deals on great used kayaks out in the market that guys that don't even really fish anymore or you can find such great deals on 2019 Hobie Outbacks that are around almost a thousand dollars less than the 2020 model and that in my opinion is worth looking at now if you fish as much as me and you fish the marsh and you run into shallow waters all the time I think the 2020 Mirage Outback the Hobie Mirage Outback is worth upgrading in my opinion so Take that for its worth. This is my opinion through my experiences. I hope this video helps you guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you have yet, hit that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're looking for a more in-depth experience with RX Angler, I encourage you guys to check out the Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash rxangler. We've actually created a really cool fishing community within the Patreon page and I'm there on a daily basis communicating back and forth with my patrons. And there's a lot of benefits to become a patron and hopefully one day I'll see you there.